Hi guys, so in this video we'll be replacing battery on a Jabra Evolve 75 headset. Uh, Jabra says it's a non-replaceable item because they wanted to buy a new headset, but uh, I found the batteries don't last too long and after just warranty expires or just before warranty expires, the battery degradates quite a bit and dies. Otherwise I like the headset, so I decided to take a look at replacing. If you don't want to watch the whole video, uh, you just buy the battery on eBay, you unscrew this, this piece, and the battery is located right behind this button. You just swap it out, and you're done. There is some work involved in the screws they use to hold the earpiece, the tiny uh, T5. So it really helps if you have a like a, a small T5, T3, and T4 uh, screwdriver, which you can buy on eBay for pretty cheap, ten dollars or so. They make the whole process much easier. And uh, now we'll start. On eBay, search for 3.8 volt, 500 milliamp, three pin connector. That's the battery you're after. There is a grand prize. So disassembling the headset. That's the left unit without the microphone. The tiny screw is right here. It's right between the headset and the base. It takes a T4 bit. You just put it on and unscrew it there is no screw on the opposite side once you do it it just pops out which is hard to do with one hand but with two hand you hold this piece you just pull it out and just at around 45 degree angle it just comes out So you work on a side that does not have a microphone. You can see this end. It fits into here. And then you get three more T5s. Try to open and remove the cover, and there is your prize, your little battery. The battery is just double side tape inside. Just pry it open, and there is the battery out. And you just pull it out from the connector. Now, of course, this is just a standard. Let's see if we can get it to focus. 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp LiPo battery. Here you can see the two batteries side by side. On the left, this one is the Chinese version, and this is the OEM. You can see the OEM just a tiny bit shorter. Unfortunately, the plugs are not compatible. The OEM uses this tiny, tiny plug, and the eBay uses this slightly larger plug. So we will need to solder, cut the connectors off, and solder OEM onto the stock connector. You can of course use trusted old soldering iron, but I am out of uh, the tiny string for this type of wire. So right now, I'll, I'll try using these things. That's the ones that... Uh, solder with just heat it's not as good quality but the battery is not bouncing around inside the headset too much so sure. i hope it will hold so first we snap the connectors off ideally one wire at a time so you don't short circuit 
So from the old, yeah. And from the new. Right now I'm just setting up my wires inside so they overlap. And then when you apply heat, like from a heat gun, the solder will melt and can join the two wires. There is the first joint is done. It's actually melted pretty good, pretty fast. And our final connector is done. Just let it cool off for a few seconds. Plug your battery back in into the battery terminal and just uh, reassemble. Now that you can confirm that the light is working, you get green and red light. You can hear the sound. AMC on. 11 hours battery remaining. I don't know if you heard it or not, but it says 11 hours battery remaining. So, you know, you assembled and you breezed a second light inside of your, inside of your Jabra headsets. Uh, that's it. So remember the battery location is the one opposite where a microphone is. It's not on the microphone end. It's on the other headset, inside the other headset. All right. Hope this guys helps you out. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Enjoy fixing.